Raphael Schneider. I'm the founder of the Gentleman's Gazette in Fort Belvedere. And today I'm going to teach you how to fold a pocket square and handkerchiefs. As you may know, we sell pocket squares in the Gentleman's Gazette online shop and so I get frequently asked by customers how to fold pocket squares. Um, specifically, the other week I had a blind customer from Germany inquire about how to do it and so his friends can help him fold it and that inspired me to create this video. I'm pretty sure it will help all of you and uh, although there are approximately 851 folds out there, I want to narrow it down and teach you my favorite five folds because that's basically all you'll ever need. Before you start folding any pocket squares, what's really important to know is that there are different sizes in pocket squares and not every size is well suited for every fold. For example, here we have a very small silk pocket square and a larger linen pocket square. For the very first fold, the so-called TV fold or presidential fold, I recommend using a linen or cotton pocket square of medium size because it is crisp and looks the best. Also known as the classic fold, this way to fold a pocket square. It's very traditional, it goes well with dark business suits, navy blazers. If you go to a funeral, it's not flashy, very even keel, and you can never go wrong with it. Um, the way to fold it is to take your pocket square and uh, when you have it, you fold it in half. And then you fold it in half again And um, you want to make sure that if you have like an, a contrast edge or embroidery, that that face is outwards. Um, but when you have it, you basically fold it again, try to fold it neatly. And depending on the size of your pocket, you have to fold it over more or less. In this case, I folded this much and I put it in. Basically, what you want to achieve is that it doesn't disappear in your pocket, but that it stands out about a quarter inch for people to see. If you don't like the edges showing, what you can also do is um, fold them in from both sides. So it's just a little slimmer and the edges don't show as much. The second fold I'd like to show you is the so-called crown fold. Personally, I like it very much because it turns out differently every time and that's something you really want with a pocket square fold. Otherwise, it looks too artificial and like a pre-folded pocket square and that doesn't have anything to do with elegance. It simply looks cheap. So, crown fold, this is how you fold it. You take the, the square pocket square and fold it into a triangle. Once you have it in a, in a triangle, what you do is you take the two tips, move them slightly apart, then you take the right end and fold it over to the left, and the left end to fold it over to the right. Once you have that, you take the sides in on both sides, you fold up the bottom part, and you put it in your pocket square. Now slightly arrange it and there you go, the crown fold for a pocket square. It looks particularly good with contrast edges or embroidery, but you can also fold it with silk, um, cotton, wool. It basically works with all kinds of squares. The third fold is the so-called puff fold or pinch fold. It's um, 
very traditional and great with silk pocket squares because of the way it folds. Um, one thing you need to know about this is that your silk pocket square needs to be big enough. This one here is extremely small and what's going to happen is over the, when you wear it, it's going to disappear into your pocket. You don't want that. So instead, you use a big pocket square. As you can see, much bigger square. And um, the way you start is you go to the center of the square, you pinch it, then you take your other hand, you form a little hole, and you kind of pull it through. Once you like the look, you twist it by about half, fold it over, and put it in your pocket. Now, you adjust it to your liking, and there you go. Simple puff fold or pinch fold. The fourth fold is a so-called upside down puff fold and it's very similar to the puff fold. You just show a different edge. So let's take it out the way you start again. It's important. A big silk pocket square. You pinch it from the middle and uh, you rotate and twist. And then you just put it in your pocket. This time you show, you show the edges. And here it's important that you adjust them until you like them. And, um, and you're good. Another variation here is that you can actually show the puffed end and the edges. So again, pinch it in the middle, puff it up, twist it, Put it in the pocket, and now we try to actually adjust it so we have both the center of the pocket square as well as the edges. Some people like it with three points showing out, others prefer it like Fred Astaire with one on the left, one on the right. You can also just do one. It's completely up to you, and you can decide what you like. There you go, the upside down puff fold. The last fold is the so-called shell fold. It is very unusual and you probably won't find it anywhere else, but I like it because it has these kind of little folds and it's very refined, especially for your tuxedo or white tie look. Um, I think it's particularly good with silk and you need a large silk pocket square to do it. So forget about the small ones. It's not going to work. Um, the way to fold it is you start out, you take your square and you fold it into a big triangle. Like so, right? You have a big triangle. And uh, I always do it from the right, from my right. So I take the point, my right, and I fold it up to the other point. Do the same thing again with the next point. Fold it up and uh, once again do it so with the last one. What I have now is another triangle, a small one, and what's really important is that you get these little folds here that are kind of on top of each other and when you have that, the triangle points down you fold it inside, in, inwards, like so, that you get this effect, and you put it into your pocket. Adjust it a little bit until you like it. There you go, the shell fold. Now that I told you about my five essential pocket square folds. I just want to give you a few quick pointers um, that help you in how to wear a pocket square. Um, first of all, um, go for hand rolled edges. You will often find machine hemmed edges that look like hand rolled or machine sewn edges that are made with a machine like a shirt and it looks very rough and um, I would always suggest you look for hand rolled edges. I will have a follow-up video where I show you all about the details, but uh, the other thing 
that I really want you not to do is to blow your nose with a pocket square because it's essentially a decorative piece. If you want to blow your nose, use a Kleenex or have another cotton square in the back of your pocket, but don't blow your nose that way. Last but not least, um, use natural materials. They look better, they last longer, the colors are better. So skip nylon or polyester or lycra and use silk, linen, wool instead. Um, they will last longer, look better, and that's the whole point of wearing a pocket square. I hope you learned something. If you like it, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll get our latest videos and also sign up for our email newsletter. Thank you. All right, that's it. Uh, if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for our newsletter. We even give you a free ebook that teaches you how to improve your style. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.